Welcome to the IBM Software as a Service demonstration series. In it, we will describe a few architectural patterns exploiting features in IBM middleware for building software as a service solutions. We have created two patterns of deploying multi tenant applications on IBM WebSphere Smash. In this second pattern, we will show a configurable multi tenant workflow application built using WebSphere Smash assemble flow, which will be shared between all tenants. WebSphere Smash is a platform for creating and running applications quickly and easily. It supports dynamic scripting languages such as Groovy and integration workflows for RESTful services. WebSphere Smash is built on a small modular architecture. Each application runs in, in its own Java virtual machine process which is short-lived and stateless, has a small memory footprint and can start rapidly. In this demo, we will show a shared but configurable workflow instance built using WebSphere Smash in a sample multi-tenant banking application. This workflow is also integrated with portlets running on WebSphere Application Server Community Edition. The sample application is described in greater details in an earlier demo in this series titled Building Web Delivered SaaS Applications on Open Source and Entry Level IBM Middleware. Here we show two simple loan approval workflows for two tenant banks, First Bank NA and Web Bank in the sample application. These workflows differ only in one additional step for Web Bank, that is receive an approval from a manager. We combine these two workflows into a single shared workflow by introducing a parameter called tenant ID and using this parameter to conditionally bypass this additional step for First Bank NA customers. Next, we will show how we invoke this workflow from a portlet and apply some tenant specific configurations for each of the tenant banks. This is the portal for the tenant First Bank NA in the sample application. A bank administrator with user ID B1A1 logs in. He sees a portlet called Loan Approval Policy where he configures the loan approval workflow by specifying only one level of approval by a loan officer. Next, a bank customer with user ID B1U1 logs in. In the loan application portlet, he applies for a loan. Next, we look at the WebSphere Smash Flow Management Console and see that a new workflow instance has been created. We inspect some workflow variables. We see that the tenant ID parameter is set to 001 for the tenant first bank NA. The fetch credit score variable holds the HTTP response from a RESTful credit score service invoked by the shared workflow. Next, a loan officer logs in with the user ID B1E1 and, and approves the loan request. Next, the customer B1U1 logs in and sees that the loan request is approved. Similar steps are repeated for the second tenant web bank. Here, two levels of approvals are configured, one by a bank loan officer and another by a bank manager. A web bank customer applies for a loan. Next, in the WebSphere Smash Flow Management Console, we see another instance of the loan approval workflow. Upon examining its variables, we see that the tenant ID parameter is set to 002 for web bank. Next, the loan officer logs in and provides the first level of approval. Next, a customer logs in, but this time, he doesn't see the loan status as approved. Next, the bank manager logs in and provides the second level of approval. Next, the customer logs in and he sees that the loan is approved. This is a snapshot of the shared loan approval workflow. In conclusion, we have demonstrated how an integration workflow built using WebSphere Smash Assemble Flow can be shared between multiple tenant banks. We have also shown how a shared workflow can be configured for each tenant by using conditional steps in the workflow based on the tenant ID par parameter. IBM has innovative resources and programs to help you manage change and become relevant in the software as a service market. Whether you're an ISV, system integrator, or reseller, we can provide education, support, and benefits to help you grow revenue and differentiate yourself. The first step will be to join the SaaS community. You will automatically be kept aware of new SaaS technical benefits and workshops and get the enablement help that you need to transform your application for delivery in the IBM Software as a Service model. Then, as a member of the IBM SaaS community, you can register at the Virtual Innovation Center, VIC, where you will get personalized access to product support and education to help build your software as a service knowledge and skills. 
As an advanced level member of Partner World, you have the opportunity to gain access to additional marketing and sales support by qualifying for the Software as a Service specialty. For more information, visit our main site at ibm.com slash partnerworld slash SAS.